So I'm here with Andrew Brown, president of the Essex Junction Village Trustees. And it's a really big, historic and exciting day. What can you tell us about um, why today is so exciting, Andrew? Yeah, thank you, Annie, for doing this. Uh, it's a very exciting and historic moment, it feels, as uh, Bill H-491, known as an act relating to the creation of the city of Essex Junction and the adoption of the city charter, has passed the House Government Operations Committee, which in essence, what that means is we are now one step closer to the city of Essex Junction being created. It's unreal. It's really, it's, it's just unreal. The amount of work and effort and professionalism and thoughtful care and concern that's been put into all of this by residents and trustees and staff and people have just been so, so motivated to work together in the village here in the in Essex Junction. Absolutely. And a, and a big kudos really need to go to our, our representatives, Lori Houghton and Karen Dolan, as they've really shepherded this through the uh, this far so well. Uh, I was at the original um, presentation to the Government Ops Committee by uh, representatives uh, Lori Houghton and, and Karen Dolan, and it was just thrilling, thrilling to be to be present to that to that work that they're doing for us. It, it is, and the great part about this is now that it's one milestone completed. Uh, there's just a couple more steps, and then this is done. Actually, this is one of the reasons I wanted to have you talk about this today is um, what are what are what does happen next? Like literally, like what what is it that we look for uh, next, please, if you don't mind? Yeah. So after this uh, or now that we have completed the House Government Operations Committee, where the bill goes next is the House Ways and Means Committee, as they have the purview over all tax related bills. And since this uh, legislation does impact property taxes at the local level, this will need to go to that committee. Once it passes that committee, then it goes to the full house for the house to approve. Um, after that point, it would then go to the Senate for the exact same committees on the Senate side. Hopefully they don't make any changes, but uh, if they don't, then it would be approved of by the Senate and then signed off on the governor. So that's the, that's the, that's, that's the moment that we're going to have the, the champagne and the, 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 the moment where it gets to the governor is, is, if you think I was excited today. <laughs> <laughs> Once we have his signature on it, we can we can then at that point have a new Essex Junction Independence Day. Andrew, thank you so much for, for being here today. Is there anything else that you would like to say? Or um, did we shout out enough people, the trustee, all the, you know, all the trustees? Um, absolutely, Representatives uh, uh, Karen Dolan and Lori Houghton. Um, uh, all are- We also wouldn't- we also wouldn't be where we are without the support of, of course, the, the other trustees, of course, the community at the Village of Essex Junction right. and the hopeful future city of Essex Junction, but also the, the town select board. Uh, their cooperation and, um, and collaborative process so far has allowed us to really get to this point and not repeat where we were in 1999. Yeah, I have to say I, it's been very uh, impressive to watch uh, the, the boards work together and to, and to come to these decisions. and. As as we all grapple with where we're going, it's it's. I agree. That was a that was a great uh, great shout out, Andrew. Thank you for for uh, for saying that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Andrew, for coming and doing this with me today. And we look forward to learning more about this process. And uh, congratulations to uh, everyone that's worked so hard. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Annie. Uh huh.